Let's say hi to Doug in Sacramento. Hello, Doug. Hello, Doug. Here, how you, how you doing? <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm doing great. You know, I had a caller last week called me Chuck for the entire call. That was his name, but I think you get confused, right? I understand. What can I do yeah. for you? Well, I am a student, and I've been uh, taking a lot of After Effects and Premiere Pro classes. Awesome. And I've been using a four-core i7 computer with 32 gigabytes of RAM, and it's the results of that, and it's been a PC, and have been fairly unimpressive. Mm. So I was, cons and, and actually in the process of moving something in 3D space in After Effects, I actually blew up the computer, and they haven't been able to fix it, so fortunately Costco gave me my money back. Wow. So, now, so uh, what was the brand of that computer? It was a Hewlett Packard. Okay. They're not exactly, especially the ones you get at Costco, professional grade. Right. You learned that, didn't you? I did. So now I'm thinking, okay, I want to do it right this time. I don't want to have to wait forever to have something move while I'm trying to, while I'm sitting in front of the screen trying to do something. And I thought 32 gigabytes of RAM and all this stuff what? I had in it, it would be fantastic. Well, lots of RAM, but, but a lot of what you do in editing and with Premiere Pro is... Both CPU and GPU bound. So, if look, if you want maximum rendering speed, and that's the thing that's slow is when you're doing the rendering. If you right. want maximum rendering speed, you want uh, lots of RAM. You got it. 32 is plenty. You want SSD. You want a fast drive. So don't get a spinning drive. That HP almost certainly had a slow hard drive in it, not even an SSD, not even a fast spinning disk, but a slow spinning disk. Uh, you want... A good GPU, graphics processing unit, an NVIDIA or ATI Radeon card. I did have a uh, GTX uh, 980 Ti. With Perfect. GU Force. That's really good. That's top of the line. You spent some money on this one. And then and you, you said i7. The i7 uh, is, you know, obviously the top of the line processor but they, from Intel, but it varies depending, uh, you know, they're different models. It can go everything, anywhere from something like 2.5 gigahertz to almost 4 gigahertz per core, and then they have multiple cores, and then inside the core they have multiple threads. Um, but the pr pr probably the case is that the, the rendering isn't using all those different threads. Uh, so a, f a faster single core might be faster than a slower dual core. Do you know what I'm saying? Instead of chopping the, the, the task up into half or four, it doesn't do that, and so the fastest single core is going to make a difference too. Oh, okay. Because I was thinking of going to six core. Yeah, it may not. It may not. You and and this one, mostly, it's my understanding that Premiere is GPU, but uh, but some of the tasks are CPU bound. I've been, by the way, I've been asking all of my expert friends. Okay, is it GPU bound? Is it CPU bound? And they all hem and haw. And I guess it depends on what you're doing, but but that is an important thing to understand. Is just the highest number, <laughs> this is true in general, does not mean it's faster. So Intel, what happened with Intel is they hit a wall, a brick wall in processor speed. And they said, oh my God, how are we going to get people to buy new processors if we can't go past 4 gigahertz? That we just can't reliably go past 4 gigahertz. I know, we'll put two processors in. Well, yeah, but two is not necessarily better than one if the program you're using doesn't know to split tasks up. It'll save you time when you're doing two things at once, but if what you really want is a fast time in one application, Premiere Pro, Premiere Pro has to know to say, well, okay, you do that, you do that, you do that, you do that. And it may not be doing that. And so having more threads, more cores, and a slower processor may not actually benefit you. The faster processor may be more important. I don't think you need more than four threads or four, two, or two to four cores. Don't get six cores. Okay. Now, I, I, you know, I think, frankly, what you really want is the fastest GPU. Now, you did a titanium is fast; it's good. Okay. So, I think you're probably good on that. Uh, you got enough memory too. Did you have an SSD in that HP? Yeah, I had a, a 512 gigabyte. Nice. Yeah. So, it, I had all the stuff I thought I needed to have a. A super machine for this type of editing, but I well, wasn't impressed. I was thinking of going to Apple, but you look no. at the stats and all their products, and they. they you know what I'll do is the old technology. So we move from yeah, Apple does not keep up. Apple does not keep up. In fact, it, uh, Palmer Lucky, who designed the Oculus Rift, 
People said, well, when are you going to do, do Oculus Rift for Apple? He says, when they make a decent machine. They don't put the latest GPUs in their machines. Right. And they don't make them upgradable. You get them. I have a Mac Pro. It ha, they ha, I, there's no way for me to update. It hasn't been updated since 2013. That's it. It's done. Waste of money. So what we did here, where we do a lot of video editing, we don't know anything like what you're doing. We don't do 3D rendering and stuff. But what we do here, uh, we replaced the Macs and Final Cut with Premiere Pro on Dell's. And we bought heavy-duty cards designed for video editing. They're, they're all dual, dual GPU. Uh, they're fast processors, too. They're probably Xeon processors, which uh, are not the latest Skylake, um, but are better. They have more. You know what? L2 cache is probably the single most important stat for you to look at. L2 cache. L2 yeah, cache. That's, that's part of the processor. Yeah. So cache memory is faster than RAM, but it's smaller. It's more expensive. And the amount of L2 cache makes a big difference in the overall performance of the processor. And that's one of the reasons you get Xeons, because they have lots of cache, six to eight megabytes of L2 cache, even though the, they don't have the latest and greatest cores. Okay. You know, I'm, I am not expert at this. I'll tell you one thing that you probably had problems with. HP is not known for pro-grade hardware. And, I, and if you buy it at a big box store, you're not getting the best. Look at Dell. Look at their pro-grade stuff. And um, and then you know there there are a lot of user groups uh, out there uh, for video editing. I would I'm sure there's a forum out there. I've had a hard time. I think it's very specific to the exactly what you're doing. You say you're doing 3D rendering. Yeah, I'm I'm doing all kinds of things that just seems to just stop. <laughs> yeah, we got we got Dell Precision workstations, and uh, and that was on the recommendation of our very talented IT guy. And uh, we've had great results with that. Really, really good. They're rock solid, those Dells. So workstation's probably going to be a much more professional exactly. and uh, That's why it Dell. uses the word, and it's more expensive. But you paid a lot for that HP, I'm betting. Well, it was. I was actually surprised. It was around 2000 Yeah. And Yeah, uh, I think uh, we spent 3000 on our precision workstations. Okay, so I will look at that. That's what I would do. And this is your business, right? Pardon me? This is your business. Yes. Yep. So, so it's worth spending some money on. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. How uh, uh, about motherboards? I was going to ask you also, is Asus a good brand to, to buy for motherboards if I ended up going that direction? That's what we bought on our ultimate gaming machine. We use Asus Strikers. Um, isn't a gaming machine going to work just fine for video production? It seems like a lot of the same. It's very similar, isn't it? Considerations. It's huh? very similar, yeah. So um, if I get a super gamer, then I'm probably going to have a super video machine. Generally, I think that's true. But you again, you have to look at your software. I would look at what Adobe says as well. They know better than anybody. And then, yeah, some like rendering is GPU bound. 3D. Modeling might be CPU bound. In other words, it really varies depending on the kind of work you're doing. And I'm not an expert, and I've tried to get my experts to tell me, and they all go, "Well, it depends." That's the big. <laughs> that's the phrase they like yeah. to. It depends. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of there's a lot that goes into this. It's an ecosystem. But look at Dell Precision Workstations. That's my recommendation. At least start there, and you can spec it out as you wish on the Dell site.